Look at the picture. Just picture page 49. Folding. Levels of folding. Because eventually I'm going to be asking you le levels of folding. But more than that, I want to ask you denature. The word denature, put a star mark. Either way, you should know denature. We used it for your case study. You should know if folding is lost, shape is lost. And if shape is lost, function is lost. We know that, did we not? Mm -hmm. Right? And I gave you many, many examples. So you can't come with a hair all ruffled. Right? The hair has to be nicely folded. Think of any analogy of your choice. No, Shushant, I was not talking about your hair, darling. Don't get excited. Okay. That's all. Flip everything. I don't want anything else in the hair. Chapter 3. Now, chapter 3, look at page 63. This is a very complex drawing. Now, look at class notes. Do you remember the simple drawing that I've done? Mm -hmm. So, definitely, you will have structure and function. That means, I will say, what is the function of Golgi? What's the function of mitochondria? What's the function of lysosome? What's the function of vacuole? Do you understand this? Yes or no? So draw simple and just write a, the function. Boom, done. I will also be asking you movement. Uh, movement through and through. So passive process, we are on page 68. Just circle diffusion, very simplistic. Simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion. The only difference is in facilitated diffusion, they use carrier proteins. That's the only difference. Facilitated is, it's like this. You can either move out of the house yourself. What is my slide doing here? Or... No, don't do this. Don't point at me. I'm going to kill you. Okay. <laughs> And the other one is, or you can get somebody to move for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So either way, you have to spend a lot of muscle power. But one, you have to spend less because carrier proteins is helping you. You have a help. Do you understand? Don't do, don't do anything else. Just do facilitate. Otherwise, just cut out everything. Osmosis. Put a star mark. Now here is osmosis on page 71. Make sure you know this. Isotonic, hypotonic, hypertonic. There should be at least one question on your test. I do not know how many star marks I put, but... Okay? That's it. Know what isotonic, hypotonic, hypertonic is. For active transport, for active transport, just know... This, has, this is more complex than I, I want. Endocytosis, transcytosis, and cut out vesicular trafficking, and write down exocytosis. We are on page 73. Endo, exo, and transcytosis, and write down phago and pinocytosis. Phago and pinocytosis. Okay? That's it. That's all there is. Like I said, do not spend too much time on chapter 2 and 3. Just to learn what I told you to learn. Boom. Done. I'm not even looking at all this, am I? No. Only thing I need to add is we talked about metabolism. Yes or no? Uh, sorry, we talked about uh, glycolysis. We talked about respiration and transcription and translation. Yes or no? Yes. I'm going to write it. Where do you want me to write it? I'll write it for you. And I'll just tell you, look at class notes. So tell me where to write it and I'll write it. Okay. I am going to write it right here, before here. I'm going to write out here. Metabolism. For metabolism, look at respiration. Just look at class notes. Don't look up anything complex. Please know what transcription is. And please look up what translation is. Very simple. 
just look at class notes. Do not go into detail. I don't want detail. Don't say, oh, transcription one word, translation one word. Boom, done. Transcription DNA to mRNA is transcription. This is transcription. And mRNA to protein is translation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where does transcription take place? Where does translation take place? That's all we need and, and what is required. Okay? Now, here we are coming to tissues. For tissues, you need, every time you see a picture, learn it. Simple squamous, simple cub cuboidal. My favorite are, where are they found? Where is it found? Tall cells. What is it? Where are they found? Some tall, some short. Single layer of some tall, some short. What is it? Where are they found? Stratified squamous is many layers of flat cells. What tissue? Where is it found? Transitional is many layers of cells that can change shape. What is it? Where is it found? Just look at picture only. Are we going to get any of those pictures you have to identify? Like no, that? not at all. Not at all. I'm not going to give you pictures that you have to identify. No, sir. Okay. That's all I'll be asking. I'm exactly telling you what I'm going to be asking. For connective tissue, this chart is absolutely fine. It says areolar, adipose, reticular, regular. So, one second, I'll just go into here. Areolar, see right here. Areolar, loose connective tissue. Where is it found? What is it? Where is it found? Loose. Adipose, circle the adipose sites. I will ask you that question, put a star mark. I need not tell you where fat cells are found. They are not. You know that. It's such a problem. <laughs> reticular, reticular, where is it found? Dense regular and dense irregular. Remember, dense regular, I want, but dense irregular, put a star mark. You have seen it in the lab. I will not let you escape on this. Dense irregular, you have to know this. Forget this. Cartilage, hyaline, where is it found? Cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fibrocartilage, where is it found? Bone in brief, I'm just circling, uh, circling osteocytes. I'm just circling osteocytes. And blood, I'm going to circle plasma. Fluid part, plasma. There's a reason. See your notes? You have put a star mark. Okay? I don't want the rest. In skin, in skin... You will never get this picture, but you should know this because we are going to study the, we did the model, did we not? So you should know the parts, but you should know the layers too. So you should know. I can ask you this in your lecture. Which is the innermost layer of the epidermis? Which is the outermost layer of the epidermis? In which layer will you find the melanocytes? Which layer will you find granular cells? Do you understand the question? So you should know those layers. Okay, forget the rest. I'm not interested in the rest. I'm not interested in hair. I'm not interested in nails. I'm interested in burn. Page 165. And I'm interested in cancer, skin cancer, and only two skin cancers. I'm interested in squamous cell carcinoma and in the malignant, that's melanoma. Squamous cell or basal cell, both are same. Don't write squamous, sorry. Basal cell carcinoma and melanoma. And not squamous. No, forget squamous. Cut out squamous. Cut out squamous, just learn one. Basal cell and melanoma. And look, he's talked about A, B, C, D, but we know, we know A, B, C, D, E, and N. I don't care how you, you want to sing it, you want to dance it, I don't care how, what do you want to do? You need to know it. Okay? And first degree, second degree, third degree burn is evaluating burns. We already don't go into too much of detail. 
But uh, first degree, whatever notes I gave you, second degree and third degree. First degree, red. Second degree, blister. blister third degree, chari. That's all. No details. If you have paid attention in class and listen to me, every single being of yours, you should not have a problem. But again, please, spelling may be an issue, so go home, <laughs> write it, write it, write it, write it, write it. <laughs> because, please return yeah, this. Some, okay, that is. I'll take it. I had it in my book. It's okay. We're going.